Let's get right into it. Number 9. Magnets. The gut-wrenching attraction. These aren't your grandma's fridge magnets. Modern magnets are like tiny terminators, up to 20 times stronger than the old ones. They're in desk toys, gadgets, you name it. Swallow one, and you might be okay. It'll probably just pass through, but swallow two or more, and they become dangerous. These magnets don't just pass through your gut. They actively hunt each other down inside you. Imagine two powerful magnets in different parts of your intestines. They'll crush through your intestinal walls to get to each other. The pressure gets so intense that it cuts off blood flow to parts of your intestine. Without blood, that tissue starts to die. Dead intestine tissue means holes in your gut. Once your intestines are breached, bacteria and digestive juice start leaking into places they shouldn't be. It's like having a sewage pipe burst inside you. This triggers a massive infection that can turn deadly if not treated quickly. Doctors see kids with multiple holes in their intestines. By the time you realize something's wrong, the damage is done. Your kid might just complain about a tummy ache, but inside, it's like a magnetic massacre. Surgeons often have to go in and remove chunks of intestine that these magnets have destroyed. Number 8. When Furniture Fights Back There's a silent killer lurking in your bedroom right now. That innocent-looking dresser is basically a death trap waiting to happen. Every 46 minutes, a kid ends up in the ER because furniture tipped over. And these aren't just minor bumps and bruises. Between 2013 and 2023, over 200 people didn't survive tipping furniture. Your dresser is literally more dangerous than Jaws. Thinking a heavy dresser won't tip is exactly what makes it more dangerous. The heavier it is, the harder it falls. Kids are like tiny ninjas, climbing stuff they shouldn't. They see that toy you left on top of the dresser, and suddenly they're halfway up the drawers. Each open drawer shifts the center of gravity forward. Suddenly, the dresser becomes a falling wall of wood. TVs are even worse, like flat-screen guillotines waiting to fall. Even a dresser that's only 35 inches tall can turn deadly. That's shorter than your average four-year-old. This isn't some unavoidable tragedy. A $5 anchor kit from your local hardware store could literally save a life. Secure the furniture a toddler would try to climb first. The scariest monster in your house might be the furniture right next to the bed. Number 7. Teflon's Toxic Tantrum That nonstick pan in your kitchen might be plotting to poison you. When these pans get too hot, they turn into tiny chemical warfare factories. The nonstick coating, called PTFE, starts breaking down at about 530 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the temperature an empty pan can easily reach on high heat in just minutes. The pan starts releasing invisible toxic fumes. For pet birds, these fumes are kryptonite. Birds have super-efficient respiratory systems, which becomes deadly with Teflon fumes. They can drop dead within minutes of exposure. They act like canaries in a coal mine for these fumes in your kitchen. For us humans, it's not much better. These fumes can give humans something called polymer fume fever. It's like having the flu, except you got it from your breakfast pan. The fumes are sneaky. You won't know they're there until you're already feeling sick. Your pan could be silently gassing your kitchen right now. It's not just pans. Irons, heat lamps, and oven drip pans can also release these toxins. If your pan is scratched up, it's time to get rid of it. Those scratches act like tiny chimneys for toxic fumes. Number 6. That fresh scent might be poison. That fancy scented candle you got for Christmas? Or that plug-in air freshener making your house smell like a tropical paradise? They might be trying to kill you. Every time you light one or spray one, you're creating a tiny chemical factory in your living room. These products release volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. Think of VOCs like invisible ninjas. You can't see them, but they're sneaking into your lungs with every breath. These sneaky particles can irritate your eyes, make your throat feel scratchy, and even give you headaches. They can trigger coughing and sneezing like you've caught a cold. If you already have asthma or allergies, these chemicals are like throwing gasoline on a fire. Some of these VOCs are the same chemicals found in car exhaust, like formaldehyde, toluene, and benzene. Spraying that mountain fresh air freshener is like idling a truck in your living room. A 66-year-old lady who loved her scented candles ended up with lipoid pneumonia. Her lungs essentially filled up with oily deposits from the candle fumes. These chemicals can also mess with your hormones. Scientists say in some cases, the air inside homes with these products can be worse than a busy street in Los Angeles. Number 5. Toaster Terror Beyond Burnt Bread Your toaster might look innocent sitting there on your counter, but this little box of heat is secretly plotting against you. It has two main ways to ruin your day or your life. First, it's basically a tiny electric chair. Inside, it's a cage of live electrical wires running on enough electricity to light up a small room. People die from toaster accidents. 
often by grabbing stuck bread with a metal fork. The moment metal touches those live wires, your body becomes part of the circuit. Second, your toaster is building a bonfire under your cabinets. Every time you make toast, tiny crumbs fall to the bottom. They pile up, getting drier and more flammable. It's like having a miniature bonfire waiting to happen right next to your coffee maker. One day those crumbs hit the right temperature and your kitchen's on fire. Toasters account for nearly 800 fires every year in the U.S. alone. Most people don't even know about the crumb tray, let alone clean it. And the scariest part is most people don't unplug their toasters. They just leave them sitting there, plugged in, waiting for something to go wrong. It's like keeping a tiny electrical dragon on your counter that could wake up and burn your house down at any moment. Number 4. Your overworked outlet's fiery revenge. You've got this power strip behind your TV. It's got your TV, gaming console, sound system, and maybe a dozen other things plugged into it. You might think as long as there's space to plug stuff in, it's fine. Wrong. That power strip you're treating like an unlimited power source is actually a ticking time bomb. Every electrical wire has a limit to how much power it can handle. When you overload it, things get hot. That heat builds up inside the cord until the insulation starts melting. Once that happens, a fire is waiting to start. Sometimes these overloaded cords start smoldering before you even see flames. People have actually mistaken the smell for cooking food until their carpet suddenly catches fire. Hiding these cords under rugs or furniture is even worse. That's like putting a blanket on something that's already overheating. And plugging one power strip into another? That's called daisy chaining, and it's incredibly dangerous. It's like playing electrical Jenga, except when you lose, your house catches on fire. Think twice before plugging your microwave, space heater, and Bitcoin mining rig into the same power strip. Number 3. The Humidifier's Hidden Horror Show Running your humidifier might mean you're breathing in your own personal horror movie. That innocent-looking device could be spraying a fine mist of bacteria and mold right into your lungs. Inside that water tank, a whole microscopic ecosystem is growing. Warm, stagnant water sits there day after day. It's like a tiny swamp with bacteria, mold, and fungi. When you turn it on, you're basically creating a bacteria fog machine. This can give you something doctors actually call humidifier fever. It's like getting the flu, but it's coming from your household gadget. A 74-year-old lady thought she just had a winter cold. Turns out her humidifier, uncleaned for years, was slowly poisoning her. She developed humidifier lung, a real medical condition where her lungs had an allergic reaction. This doesn't just affect people with breathing problems. Even perfectly healthy people can end up hacking and wheezing after breathing this contaminated mist. It gets worse in winter when heaters dry out the air and people use humidifiers more. Right when you need it most, it could be turning your bedroom into a petri dish. You're paying for a device that could be spraying invisible microbes into your face while you sleep. Clean it every few days with soap and water. Number 2. Space Heaters. Cozy Path to Cremation. These cozy little death machines are basically tiny crematoriums waiting to happen. It's a cold winter night. You're wrapped in your blanket. Your space heater is humming away until that blanket slides too close. They pump out enough heat to ignite nearby objects. Manufacturers say keep everything three feet away. No curtains, no blankets, no stuffed animals, no pile of laundry nearby. But most people just put it wherever it fits. That's how thousands of fires start each year. These fires spread incredibly fast. One minute you're warming your toes, the next your curtains are engulfed in flames. Plugging them into an extension cord is like trying to drink a milkshake through a coffee stirrer. Space heaters need more power than average appliances. That extension cord probably isn't built to handle that much power. Now you have an overheating cord under your carpet, waiting to start a fire. Your space heater might shut off if it tips over, but it won't detect your cat's tail slowly roasting or your curtains about to ignite. It's waiting for one mistake to turn your evening into a five-alarm fire. Number 1. The Chemical Cocktail Party Crashers You've got your bleach in one hand and your ammonia cleaner in the other. You might think mixing two cleaners must work better. Wrong? Dead wrong. When bleach and ammonia meet, they create chloramine gas. This invisible gas attacks your lungs. Your throat starts burning like sandpaper. You can't stop coughing. Breathing feels like trying to inhale through a straw. A woman in Florida mixed bleach with an ammonia cleaner in her shower. She created a toxic gas chamber in her own bathroom. She ended up in the ER with chemical pneumonia. This happens way more often than you'd think. People mix these cleaners all the time accidentally creating a chemical weapon while trying to clean. Pick one cleaner and stick with it. Keep bleach and ammonia separate. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.